Hey guys, it's Jaylon. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you a late update for my lip service project pan. This is a fantastic ladies club project and I'm trying to remember who created it. Was it Jessica and Amanda? Yeah, I was right. Jessica and Amanda. You'd think after doing this for four years, I would remember, but I don't. So for this project, I like to focus on my high end mid-range to high-end lip products and because I am horrible at com like completely finishing a lip product within the course of a year I just like to focus on using a quarter of what is remaining in the bullet and I focus on bullet lipsticks because I have a lot of them <laughs> and I roll in 10 once I hit that goal of using a quarter I roll it out and I roll a new product in so I did have a few items that rolled over from the end of last year's project. There were, I think, three? Let me double check. Yes, there were three that rolled over from last year's project. And I actually changed one thing up this year. So I have my usual 10 full sizes that I'm working on. And then I have rolled in one deluxe size that I'm working on to finish. So let me share with you what I am working on. I actually have one item that I was able to meet my goal on. It is from Smashbox. It's the Be Legendary Prime and Plush Lipstick in Stylist. So here's the packaging and here's the shade. This is a beautiful formula. I love it so much. Love it. I have several of these and I just, I would buy more. I'm trying not to, but I mean, I have all the shades that I want out of this line, but if they came out with new shades, I would be tempted. The gorgeous formula. Can roll this one out. I do have another one I am close on. So let me go ahead and share with you what that one is because I can, I'm actually gonna roll another item in for it. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. It is from Tom Ford. It is the Ultra Shine Lip Color in the shade Luscious. So here is the packaging. I think this shade has been discontinued. I want to say they still have, he still makes this formula, I think. But I, if they do, the color selection is very minimal. Anyway, here is the shade. And I think uh, my goal on this was to use half, actually, because I don't have very much left in here. So there is the shade. And this is what I've got going on this. I will, of course, put my, my picture over in the corner. But honestly, like this bulbous tip <laughs> is what I need to work on if I once I wear that down I will hit my goal so I'm gonna go ahead and roll in a new item for this because I wear this a lot I love it so much and in fact I'm, I'm probably gonna try to finish I'm gonna try to finish this this year it's so close it's a very creamy product it's just it feels so nice you know but but honestly it is a product that I can own I don't really like to wear this in the spring summer it's not a shade that I prefer it's this time of year or fall. I don't like to wear it in the spring or summer. So, you know, I'm wearing it now. I probably would not pick it back up until fall time, but it's gorgeous. Okay, let me share with you what I'm still working on. Now, I did make progress on everything, which is very exciting. This one has been in here the longest, I think. It's a rollover from last year. It is by Bobbi Brown. It is the Crushed Lip Color in Grenadine. So here is the packaging and here is the shade. These don't really move very much. They're kind of a nice sheer lip color, but well, I should say, I mean, they've got pigment, but they're not super, super thick or pigmented. It just takes a while to wear them down. <laughs> and, you know, I probably have a quarter left in this product. So I am working my way. I'm hoping, I may, I may put this as a focus product for this month because I really wanna work this one out. 
Next, this one was also a rollover from last. Actually, I'm really close to finishing this one too. This one was also a rollover from la last year. <laughs> this is by Kat Von D. It is the Studded Kiss Lipstick in Cathedral. I almost stumbled over my words there. <laughs> this is a beautiful color as well. And I am very close to hitting my goal. I could roll in another product for this one. There's like two other ones I'm really cl close to hitting my goal on. Mm. Oh wait, no, just this one. I may roll in another product for this one because I am very close. It's nice. You know, matte formulas take a little bit longer to hit goals on, but it's very nice. It's a very nice color. Next up we have from Charlotte Tilbury, the Hot Lips 2 formula in Amazing Amal. So here is the packaging. I will say the only thing I don't like about these, this like for style of packaging, I love the compact and I love how they're, you know, the style and how it's got the pattern in here on here and everything, but it wears away if you leave it in your bag and it's, you know, hitting up against other products, it starts to, anyway. There is the color, Amazing Amal. It's a beautiful shade. Mm -hmm. I love this formula too, it's so nice. And you know, I have made progress on it, but I think I've used about a third, about a third of what's in there. Next I have from Pat McGrath, I have the Lux Trance Lipstick in Realness. So here is the packaging and here is the shade. You know, it's funny, I really do love this color, but I put it on one day by itself and it did not look pretty in, on my lips. It like did not, it was like sitting on top of my lips. And so it didn't, it was like my lip lines were bare. <laughs> but on another day I put it on top of another lip color and it was beautiful. So I don't know. I really do like the Lux Trans Lipstick. I don't know if it was just that day I was like super like dehydrated lips or what, but it was really weird. It's a beautiful color though. Did I show you the color? So I've used about half of what I need to on that product. Next I have from Marc Jacobs, the Lamarck Lip Creme in Sugar and Spice. I love this one. I need to show you the bullet first before I show you the color. There's the bullet, I mean the packaging. And then here is the shade. This is gorgeous. Oh. Mm. Mm. And this one, I am close to the halfway mark. So not quite halfway, but we're close to the halfway mark. Oh. This one I think had the least amount of use. This is by Bare Minerals. It is the, what do they call this? Mineralist Hydra Smoothing Lipstick in Purpose. So I have this holiday packaging one and here is the shade. It's just a color that's a bit more challenging to wear for me. I mean, it's beautiful though. Mm. Pretty. And yeah, it's got the least amount of, I mean, I still used it and there is some, I was able to make a line. <laughs> I used probably a quarter of what I need to on that one. So there was some progress, but it was pretty minimal. Next I have Urban Decay Crisis. So this is the Vice lipstick and I love this one too. It's a gorgeous color. And I love this cream formula. It's so creamy, creamy. <laughs> That word does not bother me. And this one, I, again, have used half of this. So I made really good progress on this one as well. Okay, the next one I have is Amorous by MAC. This is the satin lipstick. So typical MAC packaging. And then here's the shade. I'm surprised I haven't used as much of this because I love this color. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. I need to use it more. Mm. Yeah, I really haven't made much use, progress on this. Behind that Bare Minerals lipstick, this is like the one with the least use after that. 
I've used a little, probably around a third, maybe a little bit less than a third, not quite a quarter, but right around a third. So I have a ways to go on this one. And then my deluxe size product that I'm working on that I want to finish. This is by Bite Beauty. So it's an old product. It is the Matte Creme Lip Crayon in Aubergine. So again, deluxe size sample. Here is the shade. So it's perfect for this time of year. And there is the shade right there. It's really nice formula. This is how much I have left. And I have used about, I would say about a third of the pencil. So feel pretty good about that. But we're going, you know, once like April rolls around, this is going to be a bit difficult to wear. So I need to, and maybe even before then because it's springtime, you know? So I need to finish this <laughs> fairly soon. I think I'm just gonna roll in the two that I decided on. So let me share with you what those are. And I will take off this one, the stylist shade that I finished. The first one I'm bringing in is by Becca. And this is one of their, of course, discontinued lip products. I have so many of these, so I wanted to go ahead and bring one in. And I think I even have two of this particular shade because I love it so much. This is the Ultimate Love Lipstick in the shade Orchid. And here is the shade. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, I love it. bringing that one in. And then I'm bringing in a Stila lip product. This is the Color Balm lipstick in the shade Aubrey, A-U-B-R-E-Y. So it's this one here. I want to say these don't move very much when you use them. So this one may be in here a little while. It's definitely a lip product that can go into spring. And there we go. It's such a nice, nice formula. And these have a minty um, smell to them. It's nice. I really do like this one. So yeah, those are the two that I am bringing in. And I'm super excited. I think I'm going to, like I said, focus on the Bobbi Brown. Of course, I want to roll this one out fairly quickly because I already rolled something else in for it. And then I also really want to roll out the Kat Von D one. Those are the three and the by beauty one. So those are the four that I want to really focus on rolling out this for next month. So those are my four focus products. Yeah. So that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you are doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Did he just jump in there? <laughs> Ziggy! And it is this one from Smashbox. It is their Be Legendary Pl Prime. It is the B. Be... <sighs> Those are my four focus part. Four. So that is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Ziggy. I'm calling for Ziggy and Marley's over there, like looking at me like, where are we? Hi, Marls. What you doing, Marley? Ziggy's in the window. I don't know what he's doing. Ziggy, do you see birds? Bye.